Okay. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't expect that. But yeah, no. He he's actually one of those people where he just kind of like plays a lot of characters. Okay. And and his puff in teams is actually very aggressive. He will rest every opportunity he thinks he can. That is. He knows that the risk is the reward is in his favor. That's good. That's good. Yeah. That's one thing that Jiggy Puff does a wonderful job on teams is get the kill confirmed 24/7. Oh yeah. Sleeping all day <laughs> and get that kicks. And it looks like they're gonna jump right into battlefield. Try stay favorite. Let's go. Yep. Oh, okay. That was actually uh, pretty interesting. They jump in. Almost see, gets there. Just like like that. Like, And there's no reason not to go for it. I mean, in teams, uh -huh. the only, only two oh. was an Oh, Wasabi shark. Oh. And that's a rest. Almost gets the tipper right there. there. Grab and go a little bit shaky with the start, but I wonder how they're going to adapt now. Now yeah. noticing that Jiggy is going to be sharking. Right. I think they're going to. I think they're going to double team Wasabi and then. Uh, Keep the puff like away. Probably. Keep the puff from uh, saving his teammate. Yeah, they don't want any knockdowns by Fox with that shine that he has. It's so easy to follow up a rest after one shine of Fox. Yeah. Yeah, you actually you can't you can't give Puff too much attention, I feel like, in this team. Yeah, Fox Puff. But one thing that DJ Nintendo is really good at is he immediately stops a combo so that he regains, regains stage control. Right. And that's one thing that Nerd has to pick it up because it's so easy to scout out the platform location so that he can really go for a rest. Right. That's one thing that Abu sometimes do when I watch him sometimes play. But I would like to see Jimmy Puzz do more of those. Reading the jumps and then go for the rest. Okay, that's actually sick. Unfortunate. Yeah. yeah. Nerd kind of covered high also. Uh, it was it was it was tricky. Oh, reads the jump with up air. Yeah. Yeah, at higher percents that's better. At zero though, you you don't get it. Zero percent not much. And right now, dangerous situation. Oh, he couldn't get over it. there. Yeah. yeah. He hesitated a little bit. Wasabi, they weren't sure who was gonna do it. Do the combo. Yeah. Oh, oh. so unfortunate actually. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice down air. Oh, Wasabi could have just grabbed the ledge, I think. Right now, Jigglypuff does a wonderful job make sure, making sure that DJ doesn't pummel, pummel the, the box too much. Oh, and that's a shine. I think, I think he's... Oh, no, not yet. Yeah. Ooh, oh, invisible! Oh, that was sick. Oh, Fox? Fox is the tank right now. Uh, holding on with three stocks. Yep. And Randy F-Smash. Which is... Jigglypuff's F-Smash is so strong. Um, it's just if you don't DI, you're you're dead. Yeah, that, that like true. at such low percents. Yep. You just die and that's it. <laughs> and, and and like even if you don't die, like it's a launcher. Uh, uh, Alright, yeah, it's play safe. Don't don't get in there. Uh, yeah, he needs to get away. Uh, uh, I think Moon was a little bit too greedy in this neutral situation on the center stage. If Wasabi got a grab there, um, that that would have been huge. Yeah, it would have been amazingly huge. It would have made things so much easier for the blue team to see if they could do it. But yeah. even though right now, uh, red team is at an awkward position because if they team up on Fox, Ryan is going to get a lot of different time with the mark. Right. But unfortunately right now, Fox is at a high percent and Chickenpot doesn't get the kill confirmed right there. Yeah, red team is not safe right now. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Wait. Yeah, there that's the only choice. Nice drift by Nerd. Doesn't right. get it out. Oh, Wasabi was hanging on as long as he could. Yeah, and right now, Nerd, he has to be careful. He's at a kill percent, but... Yeah, that's, that's probably it. Yeah. Not much you can do right there. All right, blue team keeping it really close. Uh, keeping keeping the first seed very honest. They yeah. they work hard. Uh -huh. But I'm curious to see what grab and go was able to uh, identify how the blue team was playing on this match, and I wonder what they're gonna mix up because Ryan. Yeah. Uh, Moon, I think I think they were bullying Wasabi. Yeah, they were bullying Wasabi. Uh, I, one thing that I saw uh, the Moon do was forward throw Jigglypuff, but he missed the pivot forward smash. I wonder if the um, next match he's gonna uh, implement the pivot forward smash a lot more. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's true. That's that's so powerful, actually. Yeah, it catches DI so easily because it just comes out so fast. It's kind of like Mark's answer to Jimmy Puff's rest, you know? He's like, he's got his own big finish. Yeah. But he has to get the grab. That's the hardest part. That is true. Especially with such a moving, moving players like Wasabi and Nerd. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Jigglypuff, um, not always the easiest to grab in teams. 
if they're oh. all. That's one thing that uh, Tri-State just going to need to learn, aggressive recovery. And DJ knows that, and because of that, he whips out a four smash without any risks. Yeah. Yeah, Quad Nerd with not the best DI, too. And that'll do it. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah, right now, DJ's trying his best to see if he can send a player towards Ryan so that he can get some team combo set out. Ooh! That was, a, that was, that was huge. That was... Uh, Man, that was that the ice cream, ice cream, ice cream, ice cream truck scoops all the way down, snuggling down. <laughs> yeah, just picked him up yep. from the depths. That music coming out from that ice cream truck. That was a little bit of a tongue twister <laughs> for me. Oh, he goes to the try. One thing that he did try to do is he tried to dead weight with the forward throw to push Wasabi off so that Ryan can do an edge guard situation. Oh, okay. they, still, they still get the stock anyway. That's a rest. And Star KO at that. Yep, uh, now Star they can. Now they gotta really push. Uh, yeah. Okay. Almost gets the shot by Wasabi. Oh, he tried to throw it to, to, to move, but unfortunately doesn't get a follow up. Oh, beautiful by Wasabi. That was such a smart uh, up smash. Yeah. Oh, almost get it right there. Right, right now, Nerd is at a corner situation right now. He's getting pressured a little bit by uh, by the red team because... Ooh! Beautiful rest But there. never mind. They don't care about oh, pressure. No shield. no shield for the puff. Yeah, and, ri and right now, Nerd has to be oh. careful. Okay, never mind. Ner that was an all or nothing up air attempt. Oh, nice recognition by Jigapa. That man was so good. DJ caught an unfavorable spot. Moon is really keeping Nerd out. Really yeah. keeping Nerd from getting any kind of positioning. Yeah, the sword is just so good. And unfortunately, I think that's going to be it for Wasabi. Yeah, now Nerd needs to live. Yeah, yeah he's going to spend his time a little bit. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. No yeah, he has no jump. Yeah, no jump right now. He's at a dangerous situation right now. Oh, oh no. Yeah, Nerd has to re recognize that the Moon will not side B once he's towards platform double. Right, yeah, Moon's a better player than that. Yeah, mixes up right there um, yet again. Moon's out playing him on the recovery. Oh, tries to go, tries to catch Nerd's aggressive recovery yet again. But unfortunately, we're not be able to capitalize right now. They, they need DJ. Dead. Yeah, they need but DJ. Dead. Uh, oh, oh. DJ it can be the hardest person in the game to kill when he doesn't want to be. <laughs> that is true. Oh, gets the tech. Uh, okay, this this is so. Uh, yeah. Okay, now I think it's impossible. Yeah. Uh, that's All unfortunate. Right. That's a 2-0. They were they were really close. Um, I honestly think it just came down to 